Hey everyone. So we are going to be looking at the uh, art asset by Cinti Studios today, the Polygon Apocalypse art asset. Um, this is available on both Unity and on Unreal. I'm reviewing this one on Unity um, <clears throat> and all the links in the description. Uh, so as I've talked about in, in the past, um, I like I like to do a run through of just the core demo scenes um, using the first person controller that I favor. And I like using that one because of the parkour while running abilities. It really can test the ability of the um, art asset and whether they've set things up correctly. Um, this particular <clears throat> um, demo or this particular art asset comes with four demo scenes. Uh, we're going to be doing the character controller run through with on one of them, and then we're just going to be looking at the other at two of the other ones in the uh, editor. So, oops, let's hop right in. So, I do have some. So, so, so this art asset is two hundred ninety nine dollars. It's again one of the more expensive ones by Cintiq. It's not their most expensive one. I will do a review on that. That's the Sci-Fi Worlds one. I'll be doing that soon. Um, not right the second, obviously, because I'm doing this one, but I, I will do that one soon. Um, I do have some critiques of this of this particular asset, and I, I don't know if it's necessarily worth the $299. I, I, I'll explain why in a little bit, um, but there are parts of this asset, like the bridge here. I don't know if you can see, but it's a, this this bridge is kind of unique asset. Um, is the bridge alone worth two hundred ninety dollars? Hell no. <laughs> uh, but um, if you need this sort of thing in your you know in your game, um, So, um, just like with all Cinti Studios, and we'll, 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 in Cinti Studios assets, we'll dive into the structure a little bit, but the structure is, is well done. Um, everything seems properly to scale. And just like I always do, I just, I drag the standard character controller that I use in without any modification. So this is all running without optimization, without any excess nonsense. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's not the case on all the stairwells. So we will find a stairwell that actually works here. There we go. Uh, um, the buildings themselves are, you know, nice. Um, but this is where one of my criticisms of this asset comes in. Unlike most Cintiq Studio assets, this one does not has like did not modularize their building parts. So we'll get into we'll get into that when we dive into the editor portion of this. Um, but uh, um, I I I, I want to point that out because that's the part that. I find difficult for like to swallow on the on the on the price point for this, um, but again we'll 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 dive into that in a little bit. But all of these buildings are are not modularized. There are a couple that have some sort of some modularization, but not nearly to the degree and quality that you know Cinti Studios is is known for and that I and like is and the reason why I like their assets for low poly work. Um, some of this stuff like the clutter is modularized and we'll get into that. But but the buildings as a whole more often than not are not. Uh, so let's hop in here. Like this one is also <laughs> Like, I feel like for 299 bucks, this one should have been better, if I'm being just entirely honest. Uh, um, but the uniqueness of it, the, the vehicles, 
are like there's a decent variety of vehicles and ways to like weirdly enough modularize and, and make the vehicles seem like they're unique there are decals like this like the decals are modularized um which is good uh so <laughs> it's 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 weird it's like they did really well and they did their normal good job on some of it but then they just said you know fuck it with the rest uh which is why i i i, I have a hard time i think that if you get it on sale it's a no-brainer but i think that if you're gonna um, if you're just gonna buy it outright for the full price there have to be some things in it that you really want uh, otherwise, it's it's probably not worth the price of admission. Um, but if you're building an apocalypse-style game and the level clutter, which I, which like I said, we will dive into the level clutter in a little bit. That I think is worth it. Um, but if you're just looking at it for the buildings, as cool as the buildings look, it really does not give a lot of um, a lot of uh, uh, ability to oh, no. <laughs> ability to uh, really explore creative level design because you're stuck with the same see and this is the same type of building as the other one in that stairwell work so I, I don't know um, but yeah I mean all in all I mean it it does work as intended like I said the 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 vehicles in this are are worth it like the vehicles in it are good they did a good job in that the level clutter there's a lot of good level clutter that is going to be unique to um a post apocalyptic game like I said the the uh, blood splatters and stuff uh, the decals all of that is is really good <laughs> it's really good I just I really wish that they had done their normal hyper modular modularization of the buildings and not half-assed that part of it um, so like I said we'll 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 dive into that when we go into the go to the editor we're, we're going to first do a run do like we're gonna finish the run through in first person mode here um, they do give you a church but you can get the same church in one of their other packs uh, or I shouldn't say a same church, a similar church, not a, a battle damage church like this. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of level clutter. See, like it's the level clutter is good. It's absolutely good, and that's that's why I I, I hesitate to not recommend it <laughs> because the level clutter and the vehicles and the battle damaged, you know, quote unquote, for lack of a better term, street stuff and stuff like that, that is modularized that you actually can. Oh, that's weird. Well, there's a collider there that is blocking me from going in. So, all right, well, we will do this differently then. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. This whole battle arena area, is a is a decently unique you know set of assets uh i do know why this is happening why i'm floating we actually experimented with this asset in a demo build for something we were doing for one of our projects and the reason this is is because the ground here is actually not tied to the assets collider but rather the um the terrain collider which is at that level <laughs> which again is like a lazy thing i, I, I don't know why they kind of lazied out on the demo level here either you're gonna see the same thing here um again that's very 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 easy to fix um, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of um going in there and dumping down the the essentially the plane um, and then it will work as intended uh here's the door here's the stairwell so the stairwells you know i mean you know a lot of stuff in this asset 
is nice, but then there's just, like I said, those little lazy things that they did that, um, that just kind of made it worse, or that made it not live up to its potential. Now, this is the, there's a few different RVs here, and I don't, I don't remember there being RVs in any of the other Cinti Studio assets, so that's another uh, thing that is that may be worthwhile if you're looking at this asset. Um, these are all enterable, but uh, let me just let's see. Let's see if I can just zip over there fast here. Um, so where was I? I was over here. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. So the door is actually. All right, so let's unpause this real quick. So these are all enterable, but I did notice a weird thing where, yeah, so so this one is a little bit too thin for me to get through. So that's a scale issue. Um, and we'll dive into uh, the lack of modularization on that one when we hop out into the editor mode and stuff and, and talk about it a little bit. Um, but that's something that would have really benefited. Like there's obviously the bigger RVs that you can go into, no problem. But the smaller RVs, I mean, even the bigger RVs, these are things that would have benefited dramatically from being, you know, modularized. So we will dive into that in a little bit. Um, the walls up here, like, Honestly, like these are also a unique asset or a, a unique prefabs for this asset. Um, like there's there's a lot of unique stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> love the post-apocalyptic ice cream truck. Um, like a lot of this stuff, you know, is all unique. Uh, they took a number of their house stuff so these tents are unique to this one like the quarantine tents but they're also not quite to scale <laughs> so i have to crouch in order to get into them um again you can scale that up by like you know just use the x and y scaling to put it up to like 1.1 or something and it would probably work just fine in fact let's actually try that real quick i actually have not tried that but Let's just see. So I have issues with that one. Let's pause it out again. Go up here. Let's go over here. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, was it this one, I think? So let's just say 1.1. We'll pause it. We'll play it then. And, All right. So I think we might... All right, so let's actually do this then. I think that might be catching it too. So let's just drop it down. I still can't lock it. Maybe 1.2. Drop it down just a little bit. It's getting there, but point is that it's it's doable it's workable that's not something that is going to be a make or break you can you can scale it to the size of your of your um of your uh you know controller of your actual character and, and you're not going to run into problems but again like a lot of this level this level clutter is really good um quarantine showers uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm, I'm getting caught on something there. So what they did here too, which I do like, is they took the house assets from one of their previous, um, one of their previous uh, uh, assets. I don't remember the name it off the top of my head. I'll, I'll, I'll put that link in the description though. And they just apocalypsized it, for lack of a better term. Uh, which is smart because then you can actually mix and match those assets. But I wish they would have done it with more with more with more of the stuff in this particular asset. 
Um, there are some unique buildings, like the motel is kind of unique, but as we'll dive into in the editor, it's it's one static piece, which just that just frustrates me so 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 much. Um, and they, they did the same, like taking their assets from before and uh, apocalypsizing it. They did that with the uh, church as well. That that same one I mentioned before also has a church. They did the same thing with the diner here. Why is that happening? They did the same thing with the diner here. Um, the diner is from another one, and they just apocalypsized it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a neat asset. Uh, there's a lot of the, a lot of the um, other, like a lot of the, the stuff that, you know, like the clutter stuff and all that, that, gives it value um but but is it worth 300 bucks uh, i guess i'll let you be the judge of that but here's so so let's hop into the editor mode and actually look at this so here's okay, let's look at the houses first um so the houses oh well i th think there's Well, either way, what they did too is they also made the, let's see, so the barricades and stuff are all modularized or modularized. They're all their own thing. Um, you could arguably go in there and yank them apart and stuff, but they are matched to the specific buildings. That part honestly kind of bothers me. Now, now I should mention if you buy this asset through directly through their website you do get i believe this is the one one of the ones you get their source files to so you can you know screw with them all you want then um but like all the buildings are one solid piece which bothered like all of the actual um uh, like all of the walls and floors and ceilings and stuff are one solid piece. And as a level designer, that bothers me. In this one, for example, so these are like the, um, oops, these are like the, uh, you know, the attachments to the building, as they call them, like the, you know, the radiators and stuff like that. The, the barricade, the barricades are all, you know, separate. But when you drop down all of this, it's just, caps lock it's just uh hide them you're left with a single like a single model for the building i don't like that i really don't like that 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 again as as a level designer like that really that really bothers me uh if stuff isn't modularized it's it's in my opinion a disservice now stuff like this like the actual level props no problem but as far as the buildings are concerned i really wish that they had done better now uh, on on the modularization now having said that what's weird to me <laughs> is that um so we're gonna open up their bunker scene we're not gonna play this from the first person mode because it's not gonna work well but i actually do like what they did with the bunker stuff and you can build some pretty cool underground facilities with this uh and guess what it's all modularized so i don't know i i i really don't know why they didn't just do that with the buildings and that that part honestly bothers me um but they didn't <laughs> so uh and you can see it from the, this is their, oh wait, no, this is the, this is the, it's the URP, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the, I wanted this one. So this is just a breakdown of the buildings themselves. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, 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 I buy these assets for level design to do, to be able to do creative level design. And, and when you, when you lock out that modularization, when you when you just do 
buildings wholesale that kind of kills some of it but let's back out into let's look at the prefab section so and just like with um oh it's worth noting too so uh is this one of them no some of the buildings are cross-sectioned so when you are seeing uh is this one of them yeah i think this is one of them so in the um in the actual uh scene let's see if i can find one here that's cross-sectioned yeah so this one is cross-sectioned so what what that means is that you could realistically build uh you know you, there's some modularization to it <laughs> like you can build out you can build this out as tall or as short as you want but from a level design standpoint i would honestly prefer to just have the individual wall pieces to be able to really just go go crazy with it you know um i i I get, I guess, some of this if people want to be lazy with their level design, uh, but but then maybe game dev isn't for you, <laughs> or maybe level design isn't for you. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, so the point is that there are buildings like that where they do a cross section. Um, there's, yeah, so they have some other ones where you can kind of mix and match the battle damage parts of the building with it. I think this is actually yeah this is the exact same these are the exact same cross sections as the one i just pulled apart um oops it's just the the top piece is a battle damage piece right and there are a handful so yeah so this one is like that there are a handful of buildings that are like that um i i i would have preferred to just have the the um the buildings themselves but then there's stuff like this where or the, uh, sorry, the uh, individual walls and floor pieces and stuff themselves. But then there's stuff like this, where they did a decent job of modularizing this and then matching it. Um, so you can mix and match those pieces. And even with the tunnel entries over here, they did the same thing. Like, these are all modularized, and they flow well together. Uh, so it's just, it's weird to me that Synthi Studios went like halfway with this one. Like they did a really good job of, you know, modularizing, modularizing some of the stuff like the streets and stuff and the bridges and stuff like that. But then when you get into the buildings, the parts that like kind of matter more in regards to, um, in regards to, uh, you know, creative level design and, and making really neat levels, they, they kind of just, you know, drop the ball. And here, this is also, so if memory serves, I believe, let's see, yeah. So I think, I think, let's see, where's my, yeah, so this whole thing is one piece. Uh, that's weird that that's attached. That's easy to remove though. But so you could plop this if you wanted to plop this sort of like railing on this bridge over here. You could. Some of that stuff is good. Although then, not having these uh, modularized uh, essentially forces you to have your bridge be at least that long. Um, I would have also liked to have seen these broken down, maybe a little bit more modular. Um, but uh, they aren't. <laughs> so I, like I said, I think that this is one of the ones that if you buy directly through them, you get access to your or to your do you get access to their source files? I will double check and um, you know just confirm that. But uh, if they do, then that kind of fixes some of the problem because then you can you know redo the models yourselves. Um, I just would have liked to have seen it, you know, better just right out of the box.
because so many of their vehicles do such, or if their vehicles, so many of their, I was looking at vehicles on the screen, so many of their uh, packages do such a good job of just modularizing right out of the box. But having said that, um, I mean, you get a lot of level clutter in here, a lot of unique level clutter that's not in their other packages. Um, the vehicles, I mean, like there's, <laughs> there's a, uh, yeah, and the vehicles also have attachments. I mean, so you can like, like all this is modularized and you could even take vehicles from some of their other packages and add these attachments onto them. Uh, you know, decal those up a little bit. Um, the weapons are, I believe, uh, yeah, maybe they aren't. Um, but I mean, come on, who doesn't love, uh, you know, who doesn't love a baseball bat with a, um, you know, saw blade in it for a good old, I mean, for good old zombie apocalypse game. Uh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, some of them are modularized so you can use the, the, use their attachments to make different guns. I mean, like, again, it's why it's so weird that some of that, like, some that, like, they just didn't do it with the buildings, you know? Um, so, so like here's the parts of the, the tunnel, you know, uh, parts of the street, um, but the buildings just, they just didn't modularize them the way that I would have liked to have seen. So here's all the bunker stuff though, and you can make really nice sprawling bunkers with the modular bunker pieces. It's just, I don't know, it's weird that they didn't go all the way with the, with the buildings. Um, they have some, uh, you know, FXs in there, bullets, dust, blood, uh, a lot of dead bodies. Again, like, there's there's a lot of level clutter in here, which is good. Is it $300 good? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, you know, I, I, if you need the stuff that's in here the level clutter i mean there are other other art assets that also have like post-apocalyptic stuff that aren't as expensive and also offer modularized buildings and stuff um, which i'll do some of those some of those uh reviews later on um i think if this is on sale for like 150 bucks like if it's 50 percent off it's definitely worth it then <laughs> or or even less I, I i think it's definitely worth it because the amount of level clutter you get out of it is is worth it the amount of like small structures like the rvs and the tents the rvs and the tents and you know some of that stuff uh i think that that's all worth it um i just would have liked to have seen the buildings be modularized um so uh, I guess that's it for this one and I will see you on the next one.